Want to do your Femex taxes fast? Simply import your transactions securely into Coinly and let Coinly calculate your staking, your capital gains and losses, and more accurately and easily. Before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. Hello, my name is Nelly, and in this updated video, I'm going to show you how to do your Femex taxes. Femex was founded in 2019, and it's a platform loaded with features from spot trading, earned programs, perpetuals, and so much more. But if you're making sweet gains with Femex, you gotta pay taxes. So Coinly is your crypto tax calculator that can help you do your Femex taxes fast. Now, in order for Coinly to calculate your tax liability, you simply need to import all your transactions into Coinly, which is super easy. So first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. Head over to the wallets tab and click on add wallet. And then we're going to find Femex and there it is. So we have two different options. We have the setup auto sync and the import from file. The setup auto sync is the one that's recommended. It's the one that we're going to um, do first. Then we're going to head over to the import from file. Before going into the instructions, there's one quick note here. API provides futures and contracts only for the last month. Meaning if you do deal with futures and contracts, you will have to import that data manually. Um, you can use CSC files, which I will show you in the next part of the video. So definitely keep that in mind if you are someone that is working with futures and contracts. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's head over to our Femex account and go into the top right corner. There's a little profile icon. We're looking for that. This will give us a drop down menu from which we can find API management. From here in the top right corner, there's an option that says create new API key. We want to click on that. And from here, we want to click on default API entry and click next. And then for IP address, we want to click don't bind and please select a permission. We're looking for a read only. And I forgot to give it a name. We'll call it uh, Coinly2 because I've only already made a Coinly um, in the past. So let's click on confirm and then we're going to get a um, email verification code. Let's enter that next. So there is our code um, and it's as simple as that. We have the ID, uh, so we can copy and paste that into API key and we have the API secret, so we can copy and paste that here and click secure import. Okay, so in order to get these files, there's quite a few of them. So the API method is definitely the quicker route. So um, if you are looking for the CSV files though, don't panic, I'll show you how to do that. So from the profile, um, there's a little button like a wallet next to it. We want to uh, hover over that and then we want to go on history order and we want to select funds history. From here, we want to click on contract trade accounts and we want to generate history report. So once you've selected contract trade accounts and you've clicked the generate history report, make sure to select a period that includes your entire um, history. So that's very important and then click generate. So that's one potentially file that you might need. Another one would be your spot account. So if you go to funds history and you click spot account and then you click generate history report, same thing as before, make sure to include your entire history and click generate. So that was the funds history. Now we're looking for the spot history. So let's go back and go to our spot history now on the left side and we want to um, go to order history and then on the right side we have export history. So that was our spot history. Now we're looking for spot trading. So let's head over on the left side and click spot history. Then we're gonna go to trade history and on the right side we have generate history report. Once again, select a time frame that includes all your information and click generate. Okay, so the next one we're looking for is investment history. So if we go back and on the left side, we click funds history and then we scroll to the right side, this little tab here, we have the investment account. And then from here, we have the generate history report. And once again, select um, a time frame that includes all your information and click generate. And the last thing we're looking for is the withdrawals report. So if you go down and you find the deposit slash withdrawal history, um, we have the deposit file. We have um, on the right side, we have the generate deposits report. So once again, click on that, select the appropriate time frame, 
generate. And then we have the withdrawals file. So once again, generate withdrawals report and select the time frame that's appropriate and generate. So once you have all of those files, it can get a little bit messy, but um, if you follow the instructions, you should still be okay. Take those files, drag and drop them into Coinly and click import. Once your data has been imported, regardless of which method you use, go to the transactions tab, just double check, make sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Okay, if you've traded on other exchanges and wallets, which you probably have, you're gonna wanna repeat this simple process and connect them all. And luckily, Coinly integrates with over 800 platforms. And if you ever need a hand, we upload new integration videos weekly. So now with all your transactions imported into Coinly, we are able to view all your crypto transactions to accurately calculate your capital gains, losses and income from crypto. This also includes DeFi's, airdrops, staking, etc. If you have done any staking or liquidity providing, then you may need to tag those transactions manually. And like I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link to our staking and liquidity videos down below and in the top right corner of this video. Okay, now you can head over to the Coinly Reports page and you can see how your year stacks up with a free summary showing your crypto totals for the year. The summary is awesome, but to officially file your taxes, you're gonna need a lot more detail. So now for the best part. Coinly produces a stack of cryptocurrency tax reports that cover your year's activity in great detail. This includes calculations and totals that line up with how the tax man wants it. We support over 1 million investors around the world with reports like the IRS Schedule D and Form 8949, plus a report for TurboTax, Tax Act, the UK, Australia, Canada, France, and a complete tax report for just about everyone else. Simply buy a plan from Coinly and download your report. You can file your taxes yourself, or if you work with an accountant, you can share it. Or you can even invite them to your account to Coinly. Lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this report might be deductible. I will leave a bunch of resources down below if you need further assistance with our product. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or on our forum section where our users and Coinly support team are ready to jump in.